Hey guys, here's a real interesting one. This is a JDM spec. It's a GC8 Impreza. I was given an approximate year, 95 to 2000. So first step is taking all this junk off and kind of sorting out what goes to the ECU. Woo, got the split loom off. So now it's time to pull all the loose wires out and see if we can figure out what's attaching to the ECU. The uh, wires that were just leading to dead end connectors are pulled up here. We have the main ignition relay and fuel pump as well as diagnostic connectors. And then a huge long coil for the engine connectors and engine related goodies. So now I'm gonna identify these guys. Using the early 90s Legacy EJ22 pinout, was able to get these wires uh, identified. So next up, just going to start getting the harness formed. This harness is laid out for a beetle. So we have the ECU, we have the relays, we have the gauge wires, so water temperature, oil, pressure, etc. We have the test mode connectors, grommet. Passing around here, we have the starter solenoid connection. This is also going to be the VSS hookup. Swoops around to mass airflow, boost pressure sensor, all that good stuff. And then we have the engine connectors. So now I'm going to splice all the connections that we need. There's about 10 of them in this harness. The connections are all made up. There were a few for ground couple for the ignition wire, etc. Pretty straightforward though. Right now I have the test mode connector plugged in and we have the relays clicking away, the fuel pump relay clicking and the fan relay clicking and the main ignition relay is turning on just fine. For the fuel pump, I have a little test lamp. So when the relay clicks on, we can tell that the wire is getting power. I tried hooking up the select monitor cable, but since this is a JDM ECU, the ECU is not recognized in the B10 scan tool. For more information on that scan tool, I've got a video on that. You can also check the VSS to make sure it's lighting up. So when it passes by metal, LED blinks, uh, the test rig, we've got the 12 volt battery source and it's going to ground here on the lower pins to the ground on the, the battery. And then we have the battery hot and the ignition on wire. So if I pull the ignition on wire, the relays will stop clicking. So everything stops. So I also threw on the split loom and I'm ready to label. All of the loose wires are labeled and it is now ready for connection into the beetle.